We just got a brand new teaser for the Hello Neighbor 2 Patch 9 Halloween update. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking the whole thing down. This teaser is only 24 seconds long, but it actually reveals a lot. So let's get right into it. This video begins in Quentin's office. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is that the monitors are all off. This is actually something that happens at all the night sections of the main Hello Neighbor 2 game. But it also happens when you complete the game and enter free play mode. And based on a teaser that we got for this Halloween update a couple of months ago, we can tell that this is probably going to be set after we've completed the game. To be more specific, after we get knocked out by a forest protector and kidnapped. What's interesting about this teaser is it actually involves the camera drone, which you can actually only get if you bought the deluxe edition of the main game. And although it looks like it's a big part of this video teaser, it definitely won't be necessary to own it when the update releases. Quentin picks up the monitor and looks through, flying his drone through this bridge right here. Now this bridge is actually in the main game already, you just can't pass through it, it's blocked off. Meaning that in the current version of Hello Neighbor 2, we actually can't feel the area that this drone flies through. It flies past a couple of houses and then through a train tunnel. But just as the drone enters the tunnel, the guest jumps out, grabs it, and static covers the screen. Now, one thing that you'll notice right away about the guest is he has a completely new look. As you can see in some teasers that we got a couple of weeks ago, this is the guest's new redesign. And he is looking very cool, wearing a forest protector slash cultist-like cloak, held on by a little clasp with that eye symbol on it, we can only assume to be the symbol of the forest protectors. I really like this new guest redesign. Although the guest has only appeared once in the canon Hello Neighbor storyline, he's been a character for years throughout various alphas and demos, so I think it's about time that he got a new redesign. Now the most interesting thing about this teaser is the new locations. The drone flies through this bridge, which is not currently accessible in the main game, and then through this tunnel, which we can only assume will lead to other areas like that spooky looking house that we got in a previous Hello Neighbor 2 Halloween teaser. Now although we can't pass through this bridge in the current game because it's blocked off, there is actually a way that we can get an early look at this new area. Now the area that is shown in the new teaser is actually just right over here. I believe the drone begins right here and it flies right through this bridge area. Now at the moment there's actually no way to pass through this bridge. You can see it's blocked off but the tunnel that the drone flies through is actually just right over there and there's actually a way that we can get an early look at that part of the map in the game right now. So let me go get my drone and I'll show you how. Now as you can see there's an invisible wall here. You actually can't pass through this and in a video that I did I actually said that it's not possible to fly the drone over the invisible wall. However, someone commented something very interesting. Thank you to Bacon the Legend for correcting me. Apparently, if I go into drone mode, you actually can fly over the wall. You just need to go a bit higher. You can see the drone can't get past it. I'm moving forward right now. But if we continue flying up until we hit the height limit, I believe there's a small gap in between the height limit and the invisible wall. So let's fly up until we can't go any higher. Okay, so I've hit the height limit now. I can't keep going up and I believe I should be able to go right through we go ahead, I actually can. I can push over the invisible wall and I can get through to this other section of the map. Now, in theory, you could explore the whole map like this. You could go look over there and you could go look over there. But if the drone goes out of range, it will actually disconnect. So you couldn't actually fly all the way around. So obviously the drone flies through this bridge that's blocked off. It flies this way down this road here. It's actually a lot faster in the teaser. I don't know why the drone is so slow in this game. It flies past these three houses and as you can see it's starting to go out of range now. But before it goes out of range we can get a look at the tunnel which is where it actually flies through in the teaser. I don't know how far I can push this before it disconnects. I think it's going to be pretty soon. But as you can see, this tunnel is actually walled off at the moment. There's a brick wall all the way in front of it. But according to the teaser, this is going to be open when we get the new map. The main thing that we got from this teaser is that the next Halloween chapter of this game is going to be taking place outside of the main town area and through the tunnel. As well as that, the guest is looking very cool with his new redesign. We'll probably be learning a lot more about the guest and the forest protectors in this next update as a a lot of stuff was left unanswered in the main game. The update is also sure to be very spooky for Halloween and I am so excited for it to drop. Now we don't currently have a release date for it but we only have six days until Halloween so we're assuming sometime over the weekend probably releasing with the final episode of Hello Neighbor Welcome to Ravenbrook. Whenever we get any more news about this update I'll be doing a video about it so if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm DJ Magones. I'll see you all next time.